I've been working overtime Feel like I've been sold a lie Cause I told my boss I need this job And he said no you're fine so I'm here at Truck Festival with Bushrod He's just done a brilliant set over on the V&B stage How are you feeling? I'm feeling really good you know I'm feeling a little bit tired But you know we're here And I'm feeling the energy from everyone You know the crowd was was so so good and I think you know when when I get a good crowd it kind of you know I get that response and I feel the energy back so yeah the vibe's been absolutely crazy. Do you think that's amplified a little bit as this is essentially a hometown show for you isn't it? Yeah of course I'm, I'm a local lad as they say you know I'm, I'm from Banbury originally so which is literally just down the road and you know I sort of there was a few faces that I knew in the crowd but you know generally a lot of the people like I didn't actually know so you know, to, to, to earn, you know, new fans and all that sort of stuff, it's such an incredible feeling and it was such, yeah, I really enjoyed the performance. <laughs> and have you got a favourite song to play live? What's the one you think goes off the most? I think my favourite song, I actually really like Doing OK and it's one of the ones that's like, it has a bit more of a deeper meaning but in terms of, it's a lot of, a lot, a lot of it's about mental health and that sort of stuff which is quite a serious topic but um, like we were talking about earlier, like it's quite, um, you know, I just want to uplift people and make feel, people feel happy and positive. So yeah, that's what I try and do with my music. <laughs> I just wanted to say as well, like I think lyrically you're just one of like the best artists around at the moment because everything is so like tight and yeah, I just think I'm really good. Thank you so much. I think that comes down to practice. Um, I think, you know, I practice so, so much, you know. And even even little things like in between my songs and what I'm going to say and you know how I'm going to interact with the crowd on this part part of the song and you know there's so many different like specific things that like I, you know I used to didn't actually like take too much notice of but I think you know what, after going to see other people and other gigs it's like you know a lot, I learn a lot and I pick up little techniques and stuff from different people so I'm getting there. Are you like conscious of those things when you're writing songs? You know what, funnily enough, I'm not at all, like, I never really, I never think about the live element when I'm writing a song. Occasionally maybe, but generally, you know, I'm, it's all about, for me, it's all about the lyrics and it's all about the meaning behind it. And then after the song's done, then I work out how to like, do you know what I mean? Then I work out to how to incorporate in that into a live performance. <laughs> and you just released Balancing Act as well, your EP. How is that going now? It's going really, really well, actually. It's one of those things where it's like, you know, when you release something, it's a bit like, oh, like, are people going to like it? But the response has been absolutely incredible. And funnily enough, a lot of the songs that I've performed today at Truck Festival, a lot of the songs, like, people haven't actually heard, you know, they're brand new and for, you know, for people to be singing the lyrics is like such an incredible feeling so yeah for me I just walked out of that, off that stage and I was just like big sigh of relief like oh, that went well. <laughs> I think that getting the crowd involved as well is something I really noticed like even by the second like chorus people like already know all of the words. I think it's do you know what it is I think you know it's, it's being interactive with the crowd but it's also making the crowd feel comfortable and I think if I'm comfortable on stage, you know, people in the crowd will feel that as well. Do you know what I mean? And I think, yeah, I think it's just about like, you know, just being yourself and just letting people in the crowd be themselves. Because if you've got this mask on, you're not going to, everyone's going to see through that. Do you know what I mean? Something else I wanted to ask you about is what is it like being a completely independent artist and have you ever been tempted to do Do you know what? It's, I'm not going to lie, it's difficult. It's really difficult to be an independent artist. So I think the, the biggest thing for me is financially. It's like, you know, working out. Like It's even like little things like, oh, how am I going to get to truck festival? It's like, right, let's get a taxi and a train. Or how much is that going to cost? And it's like, there's so many additional um, fees that come into it that people don't really think about. And it's like, you know, recording the music, editing it, you know, mastering it, putting, making the, uh, the artwork. And it's, I think financially is a big thing. And I think with a record label, I would potentially, but I think for me, it's, I like to have that creative control. So I think if something came along that was, that was suitable, maybe, maybe. <laughs> but for now, I'm independent. <laughs> and I've got a bit of a quick fire round to end yeah, with as well. So what is your favorite song of the year so far? Favorite song of the year? Oh my God, Jesus, what's up? Um, favorite song of the year? Oh, this is hard. Um, Oh, uh, Joey Badass, Head High. It's new, his new one he's just released and that's a banger. I know it's supposed to be quick, I'm sorry. <laughs> what is your most embarrassing moment? Oh, most embarrassing moment? Um, probably tripping. When I, w one gig I, I had, I tripped off, the, off stage and everybody was laughing. I was like, oh my God, never this again. So anytime I, I make sure I look out for microphone leads. <laughs> what is your karaoke? karaoke song um, Eminem Lose Yourself <laughs> do you think you can get that as the encore at the next set definitely not I don't think I don't think people would enjoy that and also I don't have an American accent so I'd have to put it on and it would just be completely fake so I don't think that would work but you never know next time what is uh, your favourite fan memory fan memory wow um, 
probably in Argos when I bought this like desk fan. I really like it. Um, I think when I was in Bristol, this girl got my name tattooed on her leg, and that was absolutely incredible. So yeah, definitely that. And what are the best and worst parts about being? The best parts is the live performances and making people happy and making people feel, you know, uplifted. That's the best thing. But I think the worst thing, what's the worst thing about being a musician? I think maybe the travelling isn't that enjoyable. And I think the kind of, you know, people have this preconception that, you know, it's, it's all glamorous and it's really not, you know. Sometimes if you're at a festival, you have to sleep in a tent and, you know, there's, you know, you haven't got any food and there's no drinks. And do you know what I mean? So it's like, you know, we're, we're normal people, us musicians, you know, we're like we said earlier, we're like, you know, we'll, we'll eat meal deals and stuff like that, like everybody else, so yeah. And if you could form a super group with any of the artists that are on the truck festival bill, who would you choose? Sam Fender's got to be up there. Uh, Sam, Ry Sam Ryder, yeah, I think he'd be sick. Although their music is so different, I think those two would be sick. And then who else? I really like Chloe August, you know, I think she was really sick, she was on the VMV stage, so I think, I think us four would make a pretty good group. <laughs> and finally, what is your Greg's order? My Greg's order is vegan sausage roll, vegan, oh they don't do the vegan steak bake anymore, but normally the vegan steak bake, and then they also do this like, I'm, one of the, I'm not an annoying vegan, yeah, I'm just like, <laughs> I'm just explaining it, um, like they do this like baguette and it's like ham and cheese, so I'll, I'll go for that, I'll go for that, <laughs> vegan obviously. <laughs> Okay, thank you very much for joining me. It's been a pleasure. Enjoy the rest of the festival. Thank you so much for having me. It's been really enjoyable.